my dear friends now we are entering into the third week of the advent in the book of isaiah chapter 33 verse 24 it is written the one who lives in zion can never say that i am sick yes those who live in the presence of god those who move with the light will never say that i am frightened of darkness the fish that lives in the water never cries that it is thirsty that's what today's reading speak to us we read from the book of isaiah chapter 35 the word of god says let the desert yes to the eyes of the world it is a desert where there is no life full of sand heat but the unknown power and presence of god will make the desert to bloom to bring forth life you and die are not ordinary guys you and die though we are weak we are human beings we are disturbed beings we go through sickness suffering and pain in the world we are not just to thrown away like that our mighty god is with us immanuel is with us yes that's what we read in second corinthian chapter 4 verse 7 where saint paul says in this clay pot we carry the mighty living god yes my dear friends today's first reading says let the desert rejoice because the lord is with us who can bring life out of the desert that's why he tells us in verse 3 strengthen the hands that are feeble being in the world we always look at our feeble hands the word of god says make firm the knees that are weak our knees when they get little pain we think we can't walk anymore yet teacher who brought pure white paper and put a black dot on the center of the paper and showed the students students did you see this paper what did you see please will you write down he gave them all a piece of paper and everyone invariably wrote one thing we saw a black dot except one child it said the whole paper is white so magnificent and a small dot is there in the center but that doesn't matter and the paper is so beautiful my dear friends this is what today's reading teaches us the whole world is like a desert disturbed world suffering world because not only the world teaches us to look at our problems look at our situation look at our darkness and cry over it and make us to feel that we are helpless we are broken we are wounded not only our mind thinks of our weakness and darkness we speak and we make the beautiful atmosphere into a sick atmosphere we begin to see mistakes and blames each other that's why today's first reading says the glory of the lord is coming the glory and the splendor of the lord is coming when the lord comes when the lord is with us what happens on the one hand we find in the world blind sick broken disturbed but when the glory of god comes the blind sees the broken hearted rejoices the people who have lost life meaning they find we have someone we have the savior with us so the word of god is teaching us today don't be simply carried away by what you see get deep into the reality the truth 
that you are in the world, maybe in the broken world, but you have a loving father who has loved you and me and who has given even his only son for us. And we may be dying with the sin. We may be dying with our curses, but we have a savior who loved us and gave everything of himself for us. He shed his blood for us. For what? That we, the sinners, be cleansed from our sins. Once again, we can be the children of God and enjoy the glory and every blessing the Lord earned for us on the cross. A child was crying that I have nobody to care for and I want to die. Suddenly, someone came and tapped. When that baby realized the touch of that tap, immediately the baby looked back and saw the father. She went and hugged him. Daddy, where did you go? I left everything. Daddy said, now, what do you want me to do? The baby said, nothing. You have come, so let's go home. The baby who was running away from home, I have no one. The moment the baby saw, the daddy said, let's go back home. Yes, my dear friend, that's what in today's second reading, St. James tells us in chapter 5, don't try to blame each other. Don't try to judge each other. Don't try to bring the problems. You are created by God. You are, you have a mission. What is your mission? It is nothing other than joining with the mission of God. What is God? God brings light out of darkness. When the one who brings light out of darkness is with you, why do you talk about your problems and pain? Talk about the answer. Talk about the glory. Have the courage. As long as we are in the world, problems will come. As long as we have this body, weakness, temptations will come. But that is not the end of our life. Let's open our eyes to the reality that we are the children of God. In this clay pot, we carry the mighty power of God. Transform your thinking. Transform your inner eyes that you may think like God, you may feel like God and you are sent to the world to bring life out of darkness. Yes. In the gospel of today, we find John the Baptist, a great preacher. So many people came to him. But suddenly, something happened in his life. Herod, the king caught him and put him into the jail. A great man was roaring like a lion. Now he was put behind the bar. He became helpless. The situation in which he was living took away the courage, the joy that he had in the Holy Spirit. And the mighty way he preached, he forgot how many people came to him. He became a broken hearted man. And he told his disciples who came to see him, Go! What is he doing? Is, is Jesus whom I baptized and sent him to be the Messiah? Is he doing anything? If he is the Messiah, why is he not delivering me? Why am I to die in this jail? Jesus told the disciples who came to him, Go and tell John, the blind are seeing. Tell John, the deaf are hearing, the dead are living, the good news is given to the poor. Tell, there is problem in the world, but there is life coming out of problem. There is joy coming out of the situations in life. Go and tell, God is with us. And Jesus tells the disciples, let no one find fault at me. Rather, find God's life in me, God's work in me. And he says, John the Baptist is a great man. There is no one 
who is born of this woman is so great like him because he is the one chosen by God to prepare the way of the Lord. About to whom it is written in the scripture, he is a very big man. But you may be a great man, but if you don't recognize God who is at work in you, God who is bringing light out of you, though your life is full of darkness and despair, God has never left you alone to die in your weakness and pain. God is at work in you. Open your eyes and see. God is with you. And all of your God, move with your God. And all that of God will move with you. Yes, Jesus tells, go and tell John not to get offense at me. And then he says, the blind are... have seen the light. Yes, a new hope has come look at change your thinking change your way of life and see the Lord inside you and be happy that you are called to move with God to do the mission of God wherever you are wherever you are placed you will see problem all around don't get upset with the problem be aware of the mission of the Lord Jesus carried the cross and through the cross, he brought salvation to us. And he is our way. He is our truth. He is our life. In our life also, we will have difficulties, pain. Even people will be despair. People will be blaming us. Even they may deny us. They may betray us. These are part of life. We have not yet gone to heaven. We are still in the world. So all that of the world and the evil forces that are roaming in the world, they will constantly attack you. But... You are not just to thrown to live at the mercy of this dark world or the dark evil forces. The one who defeated sin, the one who defeated sin and brought life and salvation is with you. Join with him and continue his mission on this earth. May God be with you and bless you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Open my eyes. You said in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, open your eyes and see what the Lord is doing in you. Do not remember only your past. Or do not remember what others think of you or the evil that is surrounding you. But God is with you. Thank you, Father. You might have kept me amidst the problem, but you are with me as a solution that give hope to me and I may bring hope wherever I am. Lord, bless everyone who hears this word. Let them not be perished with the struggle they go through, but let them be aware of the Lord in them, one who is the solution to every problem, not only solution who lives in them to make everyone live. Jesus, you said in John 14, 19, I live, so you will also live. Jesus, Everyone who hears this word may experience your joy, experience your life and give your life and your joy, your courage to this world. We make this prayer in the most holy name of Jesus. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord. Again I say, rejoice in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen.